Hey friends, it is great to see you. I have been waiting all day to record this video for you until it was like this outside. Do you see that it's dark? Well, it's dark outside because that's how our story is gonna start today, when it's dark. And I have a story for you from my favorite book. The, my book starts with the letter B, it's called the the Bible. That's right. We're going to read from the Bible. We're going to do four actions to start before we start our story. Are you ready? Here we go. The first one, we're going to point up to God the Father. We're going to make a cross for Jesus the Son, and then we're going to do flames for the Holy Spirit and a thumbs up. Amen. Let's do it together. Are you ready? Here we go. We begin in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, amen. So I thought it would be fun if we were to start from the very beginning of my Bible book, because sometimes it's fun to pick stories throughout. In this particular Bible book, you can read any part of it, any story you want, any time you want, but sometimes it's fun to go from start to finish. Um, so I thought today we'd start with the first story and maybe as we go along this summer, since it's kind of summertime now, maybe we'll read a different story than what we read on Sunday mornings. Or maybe we'll jump around or maybe I'll just randomly pick a story from the middle. We'll figure it out as we go. But like I said, it's dark tonight when I'm recording this video for you and that's how today's story starts. Today's story is called Creation. And I'm gonna need you to get out your wormy, wormy, wiggle, wiggle finger. But we're not gonna need your wormy on the first couple of pages of this story. All right, so here we go. Today's story is called Creation. Before God created the world, there was nothing at all except God. On the first day of creation, the wind of God blew, whish, whoosh, swoosh. God said, let there be light. Crack, boom, bang, there was light. God saw that the light was good, then split. God divided the light and the darkness into day and night. On the second day, God said, let there be sky. Pillow, billow, puff, there was sky. God saw that the sky was good. So here's our first picture. We've got God separating the light from the darkness and God saying that both are good. All right, here's the next page. On the third day, God said, let there be water and dry land. Drip, drop, kerblunk. There was water. Crackle, crunch, snap, there was dry land. God saw that the water and the land were good. Then God said, let there be plants and trees, rumble, rustle, pop. There were plants and trees. God saw that the plants and the trees were good. On the fourth day, God said, let there be a sun and a moon and stars, shimmer, glimmer, shine. There was a sun and a moon and thousands of stars. God saw that the sun and the moon and the stars were good. So here's our next picture. I want you to pick out something that you notice in this picture. What do you see? Something that God created. Can you name out loud something that God created? I notice that God created the sun right up here in the corner. God created lots of other things on that page too and God has lots more creating to do. Let's keep going with the rest of the story. On the fifth day, God said, let there be sea animals that swim and birds that fly, wiggle, splish, splash. There were sea animals. Flutter, putter, tweet. There were birds. God saw that the sea animals and birds were good. 
On the sixth day, God said, let there be animals of every kind on the earth. Growl, prowl, snort. There were animals with fur. Skitter, scatter, creep. There were bugs. Slither, slink, hop. There were reptiles. God saw that the animals and bugs and reptiles were good. Then God said, let there be people on the earth. Blink, wink, hick. There were people on earth. God saw that the people were very good. And on the seventh day, God said, it is time to rest. Woo, whoosh. God and all of the creation rested. So here are just a few of the animals that God created. Which animals do you see? Can you name some animals that you see? There are lots of animals on this page. Since we're in Maryland, here's a crab some fish, and an octopus, and a starfish. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. I think this is a dinosaur. And there's a bear, and a rhinoceros, and some, looks like some bugs here, a ladybug, and maybe some spiders, and oh, maybe some mosquitoes. And then there's an alligator and a snake. What else do you see up close? turtle and a flamingo and some birds and over here there are some humans that God created people all these things God said was very very good now there's one very very tricky animal that's kind of hiding I need you to get out your wiggly wiggly finger can you see can you see where the wormy is hiding There's the wormy hiding right in the, in the seam of the book. The wormy's right here because God has finally created the wormy. On the first day, God created me day and night, remember? So there weren't any wormies yet. And then God created water and plants, but still no wormies. And the wormy doesn't arrive until we get here on this page with all the other animals. That's why there was no wormy on those first two pages. Today, you might go outside and look for some animals that God has created and some other things that God has created and look all around and name all the things that God has created. I think that'll be a lot of fun for you and I hope you and your family, a caring adult or a a brother or a sister go out and do that today and say, look, God created and point to something in name that God created it. Well, it's time for us to pray today, friends. You can do praying hands like this or like this, however you want. This is the special way that we talk to God. Are you ready? Here we go. You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for all of creation. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey friends, it was great to do a Bible story again with you today. I'm looking forward to doing it with you again next time. And before we go, we need to end our time together. Here we go. We have four actions to do. Let's do it together. We end in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next time, friends. Bye-bye.